Hello AI enthusiasts. Welcome to Rude AI. So today we are going to talk about SciPy, the scientific Python library. Before that, if you haven't watched first and second episode of the series, which is Python libraries for machine learning, so you can watch them before watching this video. First episode is about NumPy and the second episode is about Pandas. And yes, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get notifications every time we upload a new video. So let's get started. In this episode, we are going to cover what is SciPy, why to use SciPy, advantages and disadvantages of SciPy and conclusion. So what is SciPy? SciPy is a scientific computation library built on the top of NumPy. SciPy stands for Scientific Python. It has more optimization, statistics and signal processing features. SciPy, just like NumPy, is open source which means we can use it without restrictions. Travis Oliphant the founder of NumPy created SciPy. Now you will think we have NumPy library and SciPy is also built on NumPy library. Then why we need to learn SciPy? Yaar? How many libraries we have to learn now? So let's find the reason for it that why we need to learn SciPy. SciPy has a number of sub packages that help with the most common problems in scientific computations. Means SciPy ke pas itne saare sub packages hai that it can help us with scientific computations easily. The SciPy Python package is most popular scientific library, coming in second only to the GNU scientific library for C, C++ and MATLAB because it helps us in GNU also. It's easy to understand and it has lot of computing power. It can work with NumPy library array. Python SciPy module is a full featured version of linear algebra, whereas NumPy has only few. SciPy rather than NumPy has bulk of new data science functionalities. So let's see which are the sub packages of SciPy. First, file input output that is used as SciPy.io. Second, special function that is SciPy.special. Third, linear algebra operation which is SciPy.linalg. Fourth, interpolation which is SciPy.interpolate. Fifth, optimization and fit which is SciPy.optimize. Sixth, statistics and random numbers which is scipy.stats, numerical integration which is scipy.interrogate. Eighth one, fast Fourier transforms which is scipy.fft tech. Ninth, signal processing, scipy.signal. Tenth, image manipulation that is scipy.nd image. So as you can see that scipy has many sub packages which are not available in numpy and pandas also. It can be used for file input output it has all linear algebra functions it is best for optimizations image manipulation signal processing and many more so these were the reasons guys you need to learn scipy now, let's move on to the pros of scipy first visualizing and manipulating data using high level commands and classes means scipy is used to visualize and manipulate data using high level commands second python sessions that are both powerful and interactive Using SciPy, Python sessions can be powerful and interactive. Third, for parallel programming, there are classes as well as web and database routines. If you want to do parallel programming, you must use SciPy. Fourth, it is simple and quick. Now let's move on to the cons of SciPy. SciPy cannot solve the so-called integer programming problems. Means, if you want to perform any integer operations using SciPy, it will be difficult for it. Conclusion, it is used for solving problems in mathematics, science, engineering and technology. It offers users the ability to control and visualize data using a set of high level Python commands. Okay, so let's revise SciPy quickly. SciPy is a scientific computation library built on the top of NumPy. It stands for scientific Python. It has more optimization statistics and signal processing features. Founder of NumPy has also created SciPy. Now why to use SciPy? It is because SciPy has number of sub packages such as file input output, special function, linear algebra operations, interpolation, optimization and fit, statistics, fast Fourier, signal processing, image manipulation, etc. Again, it is easy to use and it has lot of computing power. It can also work with NumPy library array. SciPy is better than NumPy because it has lot of new data science functionalities. Advantages such as precision and manipulation of data can be done easily. Python sessions can be more powerful. Parallel programming can be better using SciPy. Its advantage is it cannot solve integer programming problems. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't feel shy. If you have any questions, 
Just ask in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. No reaction. Keep watching. And I'll see you with the next library.